Oh yay. The winner of the intro contest has been chosen. Yay. yay. Wait. <gasps> ah! Yeah, sorry for screaming for five minutes. I'm just gonna cut that out of the video. Hi. I'm Timmy. I'm Adelophosaurus. I know what you're wondering. Am I cousin of Monolophosaurus? Well, no. Everyone keeps asking me that. No. Oh yeah, the, the seven days of science. Welcome to seven. Wait, this calls for a Benji Thomas background. No, I didn't actually mean Benji Thomas. Like, like you know, like the logo. What is that? No, I did not. Just, just let me do it. Uh, I guess they'll have to do it for now. J just put me in. Well, I'm a JPEG. Perfect. Start it. Just start it. Wait. Um. Welcome to seven days of science. I run the moment. It's kind of awkward. I will s- Starting off the news this week, astronomers made an incredibly exciting, if embarrassing, celestial discovery. It's a star exceedingly similar to ours, and only half a light year away from our own star, making its system the closest to our own. As the discovery is so recent, very little analysis has been done to the rest of the system, but Professor Drew Stones of the University of Sussex have said that preliminary images have shown that there are likely multiple planetary bodies orbiting the new star, which is being referred to as Brian, as a more permanent name is being debated upon by the G7. The discovery has captured the attention of many experts, who have expressed their surprise as such a large and nearby system going undetected for so long. In other news, another huge discovery in the form of an organism that exclusively feeds on wood. Unfortunately, no images have been taken of this creature, as the researchers did not have any camera equipment on them at the time of discovery. Found on the remote islands of Quare Hoc Ascendere Fascisti Quarere, the animal has been named something I can't pronounce, and is an incredibly large animal, with some observed to have reached 46 metres in height and 73 metres in width. Unfortunately, I can't give a more accurate description of the animal when it comes to anything other than height, as all of the accounts vary completely. One account described a long neck and 13 legs of different sizes, while another has described no legs and wing-like protrusions that slowly push it along the ground. And finally from me this week, a new dinosaur has been discovered on the famous Dinosaur Island, or Isle of Wight, or so we're told. The paper, published in the journal Nature by several well-respected paleontologists, consists of two pages, a title page reading that they've discovered a new dinosaur from a yet unknown era, and another page saying that it's pretty big, but also we're not sure yet. Come on, whatever we say, someone's going to disagree and change it completely in 10 years, so what's the point? And now over to Ben with an update about our recent work with the UN. Okay, Ben's gone again, that's fine. So that's it for this week's Seven Days of Science. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on Sunday.